<clears throat> hello, hello, and welcome back to another, uh, or to the second episode of the, of, uh, our Elden Ring Let's Play. This is TVT here, and, uh, yeah, this is Elden Ring, where we last left off, we just got out of whatever the hell that was, with the, um, un inexplicably, uh, large iron door that you can somehow lift. So let's talk to this loser. Oh, yes. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the man that launched a thousand memes about virgins. Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. <laughs> without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me. Like how he has I no qualms at all about just leaning his face close to the axe blade. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays. Pointing that is the oh. guidance of grace. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answer. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow. Even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly. To cast that right there is what he's talking about, that little beam. Over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. Hmm. Oh, okay, what's this? Okay, these are, this is summoning pools. I think we already saw this. But hey, I got the small golden effigy. Nice. By the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, um, share with your friends, turn on notifications, and subscribe. All that good stuff. It really does help me out. And uh, this uh, elk, deer, caribou thing does not know what to do. He, he's just, he, it's not his day grab these crafting materials. Yeah, I could go fight the uh, Goldilocks over there, but we're not going to do that because that is an incredibly stupid idea right now. I've made that mistake enough times. <laughs> you start the game, don't go attack the giant golden knight. It's not a good time. Oh, man. I love... I've, I've said it before. I love the details in this game. Look at the detail on this skull. That looks awesome. Oh, okay. I see wingies over there. Church of Ella. Okay, let's take that. That right there is, if you're familiar with Dark Souls, that's the same thing as Titanite shards. <sighs> very, very good, yes. Fast travel unlock, baby. Let's go. So this is where the grid ended up after he stole Christmas. You're a tarnished. I can see it. How? And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. So I just want to say this right now, I'm not going to exhaust every dialogue option of NPCs. Um, I'll do some of them, but not all. Yeah, I'm just I will look at anything that a merchant has to buy. Uh, okay, we can buy... Anything that a merchant has to offer is something that I will be taking a look at, because you never know when you might want stuff. <sighs> okay. I definitely want to buy this. Goodbye. Nice to do business. 
I like how he... Oh, okay. Thank you. I like how he's got... What is that? It's like a... It looks like some kind of musical instrument. Yeah. Yeah, it's some kind of musical instrument. That's awesome. I need to. I need to do a little bit of extra work here, cause uh, in order to get the. Oh, that is a human skull. Then again, um, this land has just been through a war, so. And a war, and the scars of that war haven't fully healed. Oh, 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 no, no, that's not happening, buddy. Okay, well. Boom. Maybe not the best weapon, but it is so satisfying to hit that power attack, that donk. Am I about to sneak up on this guy while wielding an axe? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, that would have split him right up the middle there. Ugh. You want early flowers. I think you need those to make the for, for falling finger remedy. No, don't, don't do it, piggy boy. Don't do it. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, God. Well, now he's dead. Ooh, I got beast blood. That sounds like an item in Bloodborne. What is that? Rune fragment? Oh, you can make shining stones with that, I think. Oh, oh, I've been in. Oh, oh. That second power attack in that combo is really smooth, really quick. I like it. Just get a nice overview of the land here. There is a little cave up there, but I think I'm going to come back to that because there's definitely something I'd like to get done before our, uh, before we call it an episode. So I can, I can come back and do some of the side bosses later. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to 100% this playthrough. Probably, I don't think I can. Um, but, uh, and I say that because you can't really do every single... Like, you'd have to do New Game Plus multiple times to get every single ending. So, I don't know. I, I'm definitely going to play through the game at least once with this character, like, all the way through. How much we're going to do remains to be seen. I still haven't even thought of a build that I want to do yet. For all we know, I might end up being a pure caster by the end of this. <laughs> now, what I will do is I am going to kill these guys, all of these guys, because I want their, uh, I want their rules. I love how that forces him to his knees. Ooh! Ooh! I got some armor. Oh my god, it's so heavy. But it doesn't change my, uh, equip load. It doesn't change my roll, really, right? Oh my god, it looks awful. Well, it looks awful when I'm wearing the hat, so... Yeah, we're gonna go back to my... Armor that is definitely not armor at all. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but that ain't it, Chief. Oh! Oh! Yeah, you can break those shining skulls and pick up things. That little that little rune right there, golden rune. Let's see. Yeah, that is. You gain a small number of runes. So it's basically like a congealed set of souls that you'd pick up in Dark Souls, like those uh, specific consumable soul items. This game does have a lot of mechanics with those other games, so that is worth noting. It's a dir. We've got... What do we got? We got this right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go hit up that bonfire first. That uh, side of grace. I'm gonna call them bonfires because that's just easier. Takes too long. Side of grace takes too long to say in conversation. Oh, okay. We got our cutscene. Nice. Nice.
We're just not going to question you materializing out of nothing, Darth. Uh, what was your name? Melina? Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. That is a sick tattoo, not gonna lie. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I already know I ain't got no bitches. You don't have I to keep rubbing it in, man. Oh. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace. To turn runes into strength. I like how I'm just oh, looking at this like, who the fuck one. are you? I bequeath <laughs> to you this ring. Ma'am, you are not holding anything. You okay, well, I now have to this. Traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Hmm. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Uh, can I even level up? When I turn, you'll let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Okay, I really like that they took the time to animate that. They didn't have to do your that. Thoughts, your ambitions. The principles you would follow. Okay, so I don't quite have enough to level up yet. That's just fine. Uh, I have no magic at all, so that's fine. Flasks. Add charge to flask. I think I did that already. Yeah, I already did that. Uh, I need a... I don't have a sacred tier yet. We'll get to sacred tiers in a bit. Okay, I don't really have anything I can do here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stand up. She's gonna vanish with a... I want... To you to note that blue glittery fog because that comes up again later with another NPC and that's generated a lot of fan and lore theories. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. By the way, I said it before in, the, in episode one, but this is a. Um, I'm using the X Bone controller. Oh, I need to equip that. How do I do that? I don't have a talisman yet, although I can get one. Um, what the? Okay. Okay, I can see the ring, I just don't know how to equip it, really. There we go. So if I hold Y, or I think that would be triangle on a, on a PlayStation controller of any type, and now I get to do this. Well, I was lied to. This is not a horse. It's a badass... It's a badass cow thing, but it is not a horse. Look, I love that. And this game does have mounted combat. It's great. And maybe the axe is not such a wise idea for the... Ouch! Doesn't hurt. Actually, that didn't hurt that much. Ooh! Now, in reality, if you had been hit 
with somebody on horseback at that speed, even with a shield. It wouldn't go through the shield, but it would probably knock you, stagger you. Broken, get out of here. That is a very effective weapon for uh, staggering people. Okay, that unlocked some of the map. We'll get to that in a bit. I think we have to get to um, the round table for that for to go more into that. So we're gonna have to give that a second. Oh, oh, I see you. God, I love being able to stagger. Hey, 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 hey. No shot. Get out of here. You're trash, kid. Oh, that's a coffin. Or, that's a tomb. I thought that was... I love that. This is like a ruined old cemetery. It's really cool. It does make you wonder, like, because the war itself didn't, if I'm not mistaken, it didn't happen all that long ago. Like, relatively speaking, and certainly by comparison to most great events in a FromSoft game, this war, compared to the state, the overall age of the world, is fairly recent. But... <clears throat> No. That's not happening. I tried to sneak attack him and I fit. Hey, 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 hey. Aha, you fool! I normally struggle with this area a lot on my watch. I'm gonna die to. I'm gonna die to Mr. Pompous Windbag over here. Oh, this is a bad situation. Okay. I'm going to go kill this guy first. Yeah, we're going to take on this, this guy, too. Now, my hope is that we'll actually be able to get to a boss fight today. We'll see. After, the, after I clear... Oh, oh. See, there's the trap right there. Well, kind of. Yeah, we're going to get the smoldering butterfly. I don't remember what you can make with them. I didn't get into the crafting system as much as I probably should have. Come on. Ah, damn dogs. Oh, shit. Okay. See, I like how I got my... I would have gotten my axe stuck on the side of that wall right there. And, nah, his hammer just clips through it. We love that. Now, I'm going to revive at the, uh, the side of Grace. Because I want to get my stuff back. Alrighty. <laughs> well, it's talking about death. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. Okay, now what I have to do is get all my runes. I don't actually have to do that, but I'm going to. And this is the part where I'm just going to try and speedrun this, get my runes, and get out of here. Okay, I might have to kill these guys, though. Really? Get, 
get absolutely fucked. I do appreciate that this class, that this starting class is pretty tanky. This is the hero starting class. Oh. So that's what I was trying to do, but I didn't want to, like, suck at it. No, this was probably like a mausoleum of some kind. Wow, that guy just straight up doesn't care. Come on. Round two. This time I was ready for you. Come on. Come on, Fido, let's go. Normally, I am against killing animals, but in a FromSoft game, yeah, no. <laughs> I will make one exception, and that is in a FromSoft game. And this right here, when you die, you grab the, the glowy tree thing, you get your all of your runes back. Okay, we're just gonna kind of... Oh, let me grab that. And I'm just gonna sneak... I like how that's a generic herba. Am I seriously... Alright, am I gonna have to turn and fight this guy? Yeah, I think so. Oh! Oh, that's so satisfying. Alright, let's go. Let's throw down. Man, I just Jedi, like, a Jedi hopped over his ass. Yeah, give me those bolts that I'm never gonna use, most likely. I don't know, I might use a bow. Although, that's a crossbow. Okay, we're gonna use that. Level up. Alright, let's get some more health. And, uh, alright, since we are in the biz, uh, how much damage? I'm getting one extra damage. Okay. That's almost not even worth it. Alright, more health it is. Let's go. Alright, and just to speed things up... Oh, I forgot about that guy. Now, this is one of those game parts of the game where, uh, this is the, in my opinion, ouch. So, I don't know how I'm not dead, and I don't know why I'm interested in a lump of flesh while I'm being chased by what would appear to be, oh, God. What would appear to be, uh, some kind of deformed giant. Whatever it is, it is disgusting, and it needs to die. Okay, we got a golden seed. Very nice. That is excellent. Is that guy gonna chase me all the way up here? No. Nah, he... Oh. Oh, oh! You, you wanna throw down? Well, let's get going then. Okay, how'd that not hit you? Divine smile on you, my friend. Sir, this was a very bad decision on your part. I know good soldiers follow orders and whatnot. Now, I can go explore all this, and I will do that at some point, but not right now. Right now, I'd like to get to a... I'd like to get to... Oh, God, I just remembered what the actual boss is. Oh. Oh. None of that. It didn't have to go down like that. You, you could have just walked away, dog. <laughs> oh! That felt bad because it was an animal, but well, it admittedly felt good. <laughs> okay, we're gonna touch the... You can touch Graves without resting at it, and it won't trigger enemies if you didn't know. Like, it won't trigger respawning everything. Okay, we got a random... We got Little Red Riding Hood in there. We'll go talk to her. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Miss Hood, there appears to be a dead body here. You should probably report this to the authorities. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone uh, who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. 
only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads taken, taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider. Is the spider oh, supposed to be Godric the Grafted or one of those little oh, one of those little guys like the one at the very it's beginning of the game? You know, having your arms cut off or legs or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. Uh, I'm nothing but a craven. You're not a craven for not wanting to be turned into a monster. This little one along with you? Hey! These are actually really good. I deserve someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad well, yeah, dude, I'm the main character. Think. Don't you know? Summoning spirits! Uh, with the spirit calling bell, you know, that thing I don't have. I think you... Wait. Hold up. Uh... Oh. Actually, you could just equip spirits to your, um... To your thingy. Yeah. Okay, now I'll respawn this, because I can just run past it. Okay, note how the beam of light is telling us to go that way, but obviously there's a cliff there. So here's what we're going to do. Follow the road. On the road again. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, got to get that timing and position down. No, none of that. Oh. Oh. Are you throwing bombs? By the way, these guys are hostile towards me partly because, um, you know, if you, in case you missed the intro, which if you didn't, go check out that video, uh, everyone's kind of, like, lost their shit because of the war called the Shattering, or, like, the war triggered the Shattering or something like that. I kind of forgot. Uh, one of the other, one or the other, ooh, oh, it's a, one of these little dung beetle things. You want to kill these. Or, in my case... Don't do that, because apparently I suck. Oh. <laughs> wow. Ashes of War. Wild Strikes. Wow. Cool, dude. I already have it. I have respect that. Hey. 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 Sir. Sir. That is uncalled for. I love their, like, agonized, like, but still, like, almost, almost, like, inhuman screams of pain. Okay, this is a bad situation to be on horseback. Uh, this would be in a situation where I would normally just say run through it. Like, I've aggroed a few too many people, but... Ow! Oh, yeah, also, yeah, the Torin does have his own health bar, so gets hit, it does not hurt you. Although that time did hit me for some reason. Okay. Oh, that would have sucked if I got hit by all that. Yeah, you know what? This is the part where I just uh, run on ahead. Oh, 
How am I not dead? <laughs> Took a glancing blow from a ballista shot. Actually, I should go back out there. I think there's something I need to investigate. Yeah, hold on. I just want to hit this, uh... I'll hit up this side of Grace up here. Well, I'll trigger it. And also, as I mentioned before, now that I have a free moment to do so, I'm totally down to do co-op in this game, too. Like, this is just too good of a game not to. Oh! You're dead! Oh, okay, yeah, nah, forget the parry. Don't bother with that. Aha, you fool! If only you were holding some sort of instrument where if you just turned to pivot with me, that never would have happened, hmm? Actually, I want to take a look at this armor real quick that I just got. It's the same type, but I want to see. Armor worn by soldiers loyal to Godric the Grafted. The surcoat depicts the distant Erd Tree and the Beast Regent, an emblem of the Golden Lineage. Both are symbols of glory now, now past. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I am being really stupid about these guys right now. Nice. That's the disadvantage of heavy weapons in real life. You miss your swing and you're open to counterattack. Just like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out that place a little bit more because I think there's something else. There's another NPC you can talk to. But I just don't remember where the hell they are. I don't know, maybe they're actually beyond this point. I don't remember. See, it's been long enough that I've forgotten a lot of the detail. Wonderful! We love it! I do not want to fight one of those. I don't like them. They're main! Wait, is she... Is she here, or is she up? Where the hell is she? Yeah, if you don't know, I'm looking for Ronnie, but I don't remember where she is. I don't remember where she pops up first. Yeah, 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 shut up. We're not doing this right now, wolves. Yeah, I don't remember where she is. Alright, whatever. We'll go talk to her later. Dramatic music! God, I just love the look and feel of this game. It's just it's great. Now, I realize I'm about to fight this, uh, this, as I recall, fairly annoying boss with a, uh, with a, with a pretty slow weapon, so this should be interesting. Hopefully it doesn't take me too many attempts. I'm more happy that we just got to it. And that's one thing I do like about this game is sometimes just exploring brings progress. But I wanted to get this fight in particular done so that I can kind of explore the area freely without having to worry about it because I hate this guy.
and spoiler warning. Ah, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to say it. But okay, now we get our first experience here with some co op, although this is actually an NPC, not a player. Sorcerer Rogier. <clears throat> Note, yeah, this is a caster. It's, all, it's kind of a melee caster, really. Alright, let's do this. You kidding me, dude? I've taken a shower like a month ago. In in, in game, not in real life. In real life, I just took one like an hour ago. Flame of ambition. Don't mind me just taking potential thumbnails. Oh! I don't actually do him a whole lot of damage with this axe. Oh yeah, oh, oh. See, not a whole lot of damage, but it's better than nothing. I think my biggest issue with him is his health pool is just huge. Remember, at the very start of this game's release, a lot of people complained about how much HP he had. I don't know if they ever did anything about that. I think they did. Although I don't remember what exactly. Oh! Oh! Just got guard broken three times. Oh! Oh, are you ready for this? Oh, I'm gonna die so hard for that one. Okay, Thor. Calm down. Yeah, I I don't I don't like the amount of damage that I'm not doing. Ow. Also, when do I get that ability? I think you do get the ability to summon certain weapons like that, but I don't remember uh oh, if you get the specific you can get a magic hammer. This guy does like to punish you, as, as many bosses as you do. Oh. Alright, I'll be back in one sec. I'm just gonna check my timing here. Uh, alrighty, and we are back once again. Now, like I said, I'm gonna give this one more college try, and I'm probably gonna die again. Um, uh, hmm. And if I do, then we're gonna call it there, and if I don't, well, well, if I kill him, then we're gonna call it there. If I don't kill him, we're gonna call it there, and then next episode I'll probably go make a concerted effort to find, uh, Ronnie. Because you actually do need to talk to her to get the bell that lets you summon, uh, like, I can summon this NPC, 
but I want to be able to summon these jellies because they actually do something really helpful against this guy. Uh, and I'd like to be able to show that, so... Yeah. Okay, the summoning pool is now functional. I don't remember what that does, because you need the furling finger in order to uh, actually summon people. Unless they are NPCs. No, you cannot knock him off the cliff. hard on that one. <laughs> Alright, yeah. This boss isn't quite as bad as I remember him being when the game first came out, but he's definitely up there. He's probably gonna kill me a few more times. Uh, although with the bells, uh, the little bell thing, that's definitely gonna help us out. But yeah, uh, that was Margit the Fell Omen, or the, the Fell. Uh, you don't learn exactly what he is, although I just gave it away until later. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, in spite of appearances, he is technically human, and that's all I'll say about that. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's episode. Once again, if you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit that like button, turn on notifications, share with your friends, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next one. This has been TDT, signing out. Bye.